This is the annual service practice firing of Redstone Missile by Battery A, 217th Field Artillery Missile Battalion, 40th Artillery Group at the White Sands Missile Range, New Mexico. The missile fired was a Redstone Block II tactical missile number CC2014. The operation was conducted at Launch Complex LC-36. The date of the launch was March 15, 1960. In the following scenes, Battery A servicing section personnel are fueling the missile with 19,000 pounds of a 75% alcohol, 25% water fuel solution. Here we see the alcohol fuel tanker trailer. The fuel is pumped from the tanker through a hose to the base of the fueling ladder. The fuel then flows up through the ladder standpipe. The alcohol then flows through a fueling hose attached from the top of the fueling ladder to the fueling port on the side of the thrust unit. Staff Sergeant Louis Fiore, servicing section chief, is overseeing the fueling operation. The alcohol tank is the upper tank in the Redstone missile thrust unit. This is the heating and cooling drop tank attached to the side of the missile instrument compartment. The drop tank provided both heating and cooling to maintain a constant temperature inside the instrument compartment prior to flight. Initially, the drop tanks were packed with dry ice for compartment cooling. Missile 2014 used the newer system which incorporated the use of liquid nitrogen for cooling purposes. Liquid nitrogen was a byproduct of the production of liquid oxygen by the engineer company of a Redstone group. Alcohol fueling has now been completed, and the fueling hoses are now being disconnected and removed from the missile. The crew is now commencing the loading of 25,000 pounds of liquid oxygen into the oxidizer tank. Two liquid oxygen or LOX tankers were used. Each carried 18,000 pounds of liquid oxygen. The pumps on one tanker were started prior to the pumps on the second tanker. This left a reserve in the second tanker for LOX tank replenishment. The boiling point of liquid oxygen is minus 297 degrees Fahrenheit. Since a percentage of the LOX boiled off, the LOX tank had to be periodically topped off. Final LOX topping took place just prior to the initiation of the firing command. Here we see the LOX topping hose running from the missile back to the LOX reserve trailer. Final preparations for flight are now taking place. Note the frost band that has formed on the exterior circumference of the LOX tank. In this slow motion close-up sequence, you will notice the drop tank being jettisoned just prior to rocket engine ignition. The drop tank was jettisoned by the automatic firing of two explosive bolts. Here, engine cutoff has occurred, to be shortly followed by the separation of the missile body from the thrust unit. 
Battery A conducted a highly successful annual service practice firing. In place of the radar fuse, missile 2014 carried a TV camera in the nose cone. Live TV pictures were transmitted back to a White Sands missile range facility throughout the ballistic path all the way to missile impact. The missile impacted within 295 meters of the target, located 55 miles downrange. In a full screen view of this video, one can see the missile body separated from the thrust unit and ahead of the thrust unit contrail. 